Hello everyone, and welcome back to what will hopefully be a fruitful day in Project Zomboid. Back here with our buddy Wes, getting uh, getting prepared to make some moves on Darker Dam. So, last time I gave us a little brief look at the, uh, the city itself um, through our little path that we took here. And I, you know, I put forward some ideas about, like, what, I, what I'm what i planning on doing. And I, I'm thinking about sticking with, with what I was talking about. I, th I really just need to get a better look of the actual city and the buildings in it if I'm going to try and set up in the city itself. So I think that's going to be our goal for today is to take the truck. I might detach the trailer, though. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a map marker... Let's do green, so I remember where it is. What's a good marker for this? Alright, let's do this. Alright, so... With that marker there, I know that I'm going to detach the trailer that we're carrying here. And I'm just going to take the truck into town today. That way, we can be a little bit more maneuverable, because there's quite a few zombies in the town, in the city itself. And, um... I really want to take a look at these buildings and see where a good place to set up would be. And I don't want the trailer weighing me down, but I need to remember where it is. So we'll be coming back here to get it later. Um, for starters, though, let's uh, let's deal with Wes's needs. Um, first things first, let's get him something to eat. Was there something in here? Uh, I guess I can just eat all this fruit. Anything just to get his hunger down, but not like use up too many calories, because we're still, um, we're still in the need to lose more weight category, so let's, uh, try and eat a little healthy here. I just want to get the, uh, the hunger modifier gone, so I don't have to use, uh, no, we can eat these raviolis, um, so we don't have the, the negative load modifier, although I can probably... Put some, I don't know why I have this in my main inventory. Um, we don't need the cigarette butt. Okay, so we're almost there with the hunger. Um, just eat this raw leek because, you know, that's what a normal sane individual does. Alright, 93 should be good enough. Um, let's smoke that cigarette and then we will get a move on. Then we'll go and uh, detach the trailer anyway. We'll be able to do that without much finagling. So let's uh, get a quick view around. Okay, so there are some zombies nearby, but I don't think they're going to mess with us. Detach cargo trailer. Okay, so we're going to leave that here. It's in a decent spot so that I can pretty easily hook back up to it as long as I come from the right direction. Um, yeah, so let's get this started. We're going to hook back up and head back into the city proper area and uh, check out some more of the buildings. Let's see what we can see. It's like I said for, oh boy, uh, like I said last time, I'm looking mostly for, like, larger scale buildings, which are going to be harder to, uh, actually take over. Oh boy, I didn't realize there was a barricade over here. Oh, really? What the hell? Alright, well, hold on. Okay. That was, uh, risky, but I was pretty certain I could time it correctly, so... Okay, we gotta find another way into the city. So we gotta remember this is blocked. I'm gonna try and remember to uh, to mark that down on my map later so that I don't make this mistake again. I can go down and around, though, like we did to get here in the first place. And we should be able to find a path. Here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting the gate to be, like, blocked or blocked or whatever it said it was. Unfortunate. I think I'm gonna keep going this way a little bit more. 
try and, like, get further on. I think I looked at these buildings already. Yeah. Nothing particularly interesting there, but that doesn't mean I came down this road, which means I can go up it. Which is good. I want to go up this direction a bit more, though. Okay, so I think this connects... Yeah, this connects one of the bridges. Alright, so let's get in here. And see what we can see. Um, Alright, hold on. Where are we? Okay, so we're just on the other side, I say. Okay. This is fine. I need to explore all this stuff anyway, because I really want to get my map filled out. Because, uh... I don't actually know if there if the mod adds in, like, a, a map for this, for Darker Dam. Like, you know, a physical one that I could look at and then get it added to my actual map display, like I do with the other cities. I don't know if it does. I haven't found one, obviously. So we got a big storage unit here. Some sort of, like, large port kind of building. I don't know what this is. An office building, maybe, or something? This is interesting. What is this? Oh. What does that say? Sopa King. Amazing. I almost think that English isn't my first language because I couldn't read the damn cursive there. Ugh. And it's just a meme name. Unfortunate. I got God. Surprisingly well locked down for what is functionally a furniture store. This is interesting, like some sort of garage thing? Why are the garage doors within a raised platform? Huh. Top car there. Okay, so I, I remember this bargain clothes on this corner here. We've been here before. We turned down this way last time. So yeah, there's that book naked right there. Street sweeper. Okay, so I kind of want to go this way. Again, apologies for the frame rate. I don't know how visible that is in the recording. I don't know what I hit there. Um, I don't know how visible that is in the recording, but it's because of, of like all the generating areas and stuff. Um, big city, a lot, of, a lot of stuff in it. It's you know the frame rate kind of gets dicey when uh, when I'm driving through it for the first time after I load up the game. So my apologies, but hopefully it's not too bad. I mean I can play with it, but I know that there are a lot of people more sensitive to uh, frame rate than I am. I'm certainly not going to claim the, uh, the, the age-old, oh, you can't see over 30 FPS. I mean, I can't, really, but, uh, I know that a lot of people can really, are really sensitive to changes in the frame rate and refresh rate and stuff, so. My apologies. I do what I can, though. It's modded stuff. You can't expect it to be as optimized as the, uh, the base game. Even base game Zomboid has issues with uh, with vehicles and like moving lag and stuff. Um, especially on like multiplayer servers, I have like really big issues with like driving places and it just like killing my frame rate when I'm driving fast. So much so that I usually have to do this. You see, my frame rate's like actually quite a bit better when I'm zoomed in like that. It's, it's the zooming out that, that screws it up. But unfortunately, I'm driving, so I need to actually keep my camera zoomed out unless I want to drive into shit. Uh, at least until I'm looking at stuff. We've got some interesting buildings here. Can't really tell what most of them are because they're not like signposted. Also gotta be careful with the uh the vehicle. We've hit a lot of zombies today already. And it's hard to tell what a lot of these buildings are. Oh, there's a general store, that's interesting. Nice uh freezer outside. We can steal that at some point. This should all be unexplored stuff. I don't remember going over here yesterday, so or yesterday last time. Oh, wow. Jesus. 
Uh, that car was exactly past the the point where I couldn't see because of the wall before it hit it. That's unfortunate. At least I hit it going slow. That could have been significantly worse. Oh, we got another camper vehicle. I don't want to complain because I used to never see these at all, even when running this mod. Horseshoe. Uh, but also, I literally have only seen that type of camper. <laughs> Where are the other ones? I know there are other ones as a part of that mod. I swear they exist. I'm not crazy. I don't want to complain because it's like, at least I'm seeing them, but... Alright, car fixations. There's some sort of vehicle store. Probably like mechanic shop, car parts stuff. That could be uh, good for working on this vehicle. The lag is also calmed down significantly over here, so that's good. I don't know what this is, but it's got like a chain link there and a bunch of storage units. I guess it's like a storage place. Alright, what, what are we looking? What is this? Where am I? Okay, so we're kind of like... This is kind of similar to the outskirts sort of area on the other side of the of the river, I think. So yeah, this is like some sort of secure storage place. Yeah. Okay. I'm not necessarily looking to stay like deep in the city. Staying in the outskirts like this would actually make my life a lot easier, and it would also just be less laggy whenever I get on, which would be nice. Um, so this is a consideration. It'll be interesting to see if there's any really good uh, places out here that I can stay. A lot of vehicles out here. Okay, so we got some big houses over here. Yeah, not really looking at staying in a house. I'd rather stay in like a large building with like a flat roof, kind of like this. Um, it'll be more difficult to secure, but then I can do a lot of building on the roof, which is nice. I really like um, doing stuff on rooftop. It's very safe, you know. So you can you can set up like rooftop farms and. Um, like your generators and like water collectors and all that stuff. You can put all that up on uh, on secure rooftops and it's uh, it's very convenient. I mean, of course you can do, oh wow, that, Jesus. hold on a second, this is a hell of a house. Um, of course you can do all of that with, um, with normal houses, like if you saw, if you watched my last series, um, you can like, you know, go out of windows and like, Oh, there's a barricade there. It was half hidden, I couldn't see it. I'm, I'm not blind, I swear. Um, you can do all that with a normal house by going out of windows and building, like, you know, the gravity-defying Paris sort of stuff. But um, the flat roof just makes that a lot faster. You don't have to spend as much time on that. And I'm not looking to spend, like, a ton of time on carpentry in this series, unlike in the last one. The real sweat. A sporting goods store. I've still yet to see any, um, any, like, gun stores or anything. I mean, this place is huge, and also a lot of these, uh, buildings are not marked. So, I mean, it's possible that I've just missed one. It's also possible that, that a good amount of these aren't, like, real stores. Like, they don't have anything inside them, really. Um, time for sport. Pharmacy, P-Tools, Food Market, Pizza World. Because this map isn't complete, um, is one thing I should note. That uh, the developer is currently on a break from developing this. Um, as of you know, me recording this, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked uh, at the mod page recently, but um, as of a few months ago, they, they went on a break. Um, so this map isn't 100% uh, complete as of yet. So there's there's a good shot that a decent amount of these buildings are just kind of like empty inside. But we'll see uh, we'll see what the case may be with all that. I'm gonna be uh, exploring through a lot of them and marking them as I go. So this is a very nice looking building. It's an auto dealership. Ooh. Looks really nice. It has a flat roof, too. 
in the back. Can you get up to that? Oh. I don't think so. I didn't even see those zombies. I swear that that's like becoming a trend today. I'm just not seeing things that are directly in front of my car. Back in some sort of residential kind of area. It's 1.30. Whoa. Okay. Got some police vehicles there with their lights still on. Might be worth looking at that for uh, for weapons at some point. I'm pretty concerned about the whole uh, gun store situation. I'm really going to have to find one at some point because currently our options are pretty limited. So I don't want to... I don't want to get into a situation where we have to fight like a frankly absurd amount of zombies right now because we just don't have great options. I mean, since we're using um, long sharp, you know, long blade weapons, we can. Oh god, I didn't even see that. Uh, oh my. Get the hell out of my way. All right, we're gonna take a look at the car after the, at the vehicle after this. I've, I've been damaging the hell out of it today. Um. But yeah, uh, we, we can we can mow through zombies a lot more effectively than like my normal long blunt or short blunt characters can. But uh, even still, without a shotgun, like big hordes are going to be a problem. And we've been at this a while, so the actual population, I mean, as is kind of evident, is getting larger. So 2 p.m. All right, uh, I think we're going to need to start looking for a place now, like instead of just exploring. Plus, I'd like to do a lot of exploring on foot. Wow, this is interesting. Wait, these are high fences. Okay. Oh, there's a generator in there, too. Alright, that's interesting. Good to note. This is really cool. Wait. Okay, hold on. I might be breaking my I don't want a house thing. Because, like, these houses are really cool. They're really well defended. Like, these... These walls, like, going all the way around them, like, this is super nice. And this one having, like, the two garages on this side. Alright, you know what? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's clear this out and take a look at this. I want to see what this place really looks like. Um, pardon me, folks. Don't go to the car. Come to me. because I hear them on a window. I'd rather them not break the windows. Hold on. No, come on. They're gonna break that window. Maybe I can quickly... Definitely not. I wanted to get that get uh, that zombie dead without breaking any windows, but oh well. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. These houses are really nice. It does get you know break the whole. Well, actually, there's there is a rooftop terrace in the back here. Wait, we might have actually found something crazy good. There's a grill too. That's nice. And whatever this is, and it's completely surrounded by tall walls as well. This would take very little effort to, like, fully set up as defensible. And, like, where is this? Yeah, it's, like, right in the center of the city. This is actually, like, maybe an incredibly good base location. The, uh, these garages right here is really what's kind of selling me on this. Plus this, uh, this terrace in the back here that I can put stuff on. I can just, like, deconstruct some of the furniture and just put, like, um, crops and water collectors and stuff back here. Plus my generator. Alright, alright, alright. Well, for now, this is gonna be, I think, what I'm gonna go with. Um, next door has a pool, but it's also got a smaller terrace. 
The pool doesn't really do anything for me, and that secondary building could actually be pretty useful. All right, I think we're going to go with this for now. I don't know if this is going to be my final uh, base location for this place, but this is quite nice. So let's see if I can get inside and uh, start clearing it out. Oh, hello. Oh. Shetty's down below half now. I have to swap it out for another one at some point. A lot of those are in the, um, if I remember correctly, a lot of those machetes are in the, uh, trailer. But we've got some stuff. We've got a bill hook. Um, oof, yeah, that is, I did, the fuck? Calm down over there. Alright, so actually, we only have that bill hook. Do I, did I take anything else with me? I have a karambit and a couple of these machetes. Okay, I'm fine. I think I left, like, the majority of my weapons in the trailer, but that's fine. We've got enough for the time being. Let's look for, um... Well, I was going to say let's look for a window to check for alarms, but we do have... What's with all these sounds? I still want to check for alarms, just for the future reference, but, uh... What we can do is we can remove this broken glass... And go in here. Okay, so of course I'm gonna have to um, fix that issue with that window at some point, but. Ooh, some tools. We've got another propane tank. Almost empty though. Just unlocking these ahead of time. So... Oh my. Where did you come from, fella? Holy. Scared the hell out of me there. Hmm. I was not expecting there to be a zombie on the other side of that one. Whew, this is going to take a while to clear. There's a lot of rooms here. I heard something, too. Yeah, like here, but above. Oh. Yeah, it's on a door now. A little study with a computer? Cool. Alright. Um. Please, I need to be able to say. Oh my god, please. Alright, what we got? Um. Something here. Actually, two? I think two zombies there. This floor is very odd. Huh. There's just one. Okay. I thought it was two because of the uh, how fast he was banging on the door, but uh, it's just one dude. Right. Turn on all the lights because uh, no reason not to since power is still on. We've gotten luckier than I would have thought we would with the uh, electricity, honestly. Seeing as the water shut off so quickly. Another computer. Oh, there we go. Got a water cooler. It's a really nice little rec room right here. TV. That TV can play VHSs too, so that's nice. Okay, we've got a little terrace thing there. There was definitely a bigger, like, sort of terrace thing, though. Is that just outside on the first floor? Is that what I was seeing? I thought it was outside on the second, but... Okay, hold on, I gotta check these rooms. Okay. Laundry room. Another bathroom. At least we'll have plenty of water for a while. Oh, Nice. One of the, uh, the good freezers. Huh? Okay, so this is actually on the first floor. Unfortunate. Um, so we have less space than I, than I thought for that, but, I mean, 
We have a pretty secure area. I'm not worried about the farming aspect. So actually, I could use that small terrace upstairs for the generator and for uh, the water collectors. And then I can just farm in the backyard here because these are tall walls. Zombies can't get over these. So as long as I secure the front of the building, which I could do just by blocking the street, but with uh, walls and then this side by going to the river. Um, this is a pretty safe, uh, safe setup. What is this, though? Oh, boy. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I need to go kill the zombies before they break that door. I mean, it's a security door, so it'll take a while, but, uh, even still. Okay. We're gonna... I'm gonna go all the way around because that door is not unlocked. I'm gonna have to figure out a way into there easily so that I can get those doors unlocked. And we'll definitely be doing um, a little bit more uh, carpentry than I was ex really thinking that I might do. Um, I guess I was delusional to think that I wasn't gonna end up doing carpentry that much, but uh, we're gonna need to, to do some blocking here to make sure that this uh, this place is really secure. It's pretty good off the start, though. I mean, a lot of these uh, areas can just be, like, straight across walled, and then, like, I mean, these are tall walls, these are tall walls, so. Oh, okay, so this is open. Oh, no, it's not. I can just see through it because it has uh, windows. Did this get broken through already? Oh, it did. What the hell? Dude just broke that security door down in like two se What the hell? Okay. We got some bargain bin ass security doors for some reason. So this is now super not secure until I get that dealt with. The hell was that? It took me like less than a minute to get around and both of those doors got broken down? That's concerning. Even if it was three zombies, that was insane. Okay, anyway, um... Well, at least we got a generator and a place to work on the vehicles in. That's pretty secure. Sort of. I mean, I gotta replace those doors, but... And, you know, wall this. Okay, um... This fence is also broken here, so I'm gonna have to wall it, like, closer to here. And here, I think. Alright, anyway... Um, yeah, that's a concern. I'm definitely gonna have to get this, like, reinforced pretty quickly, because they can just wa waltz right into my backyard. Well, we got a lot of work ahead of us, and the, uh, wood is gonna be kind of annoying. I mean, I'm gonna have to take apart, like, tons of, uh, stuff, but there is plenty of, like, wooden crap around that I can deconstruct. I wonder if I should stay in the next door place instead of this one, because of that path through... Uh, the hunger. Oh, you are pretty hungry, huh? 640. Hmm. I wonder if I should take that place instead. I mean, it also has a path through to the other side, though, through the shed, so I don't even think it's so much better. And this one's got a lot more garage space. Whereas that one has very little. Yeah, I don't think the pool, <laughs> the pool is worth, uh, losing all that garage space, so I think I'll, uh, I'll stick with what I've got. Okay, so we're going to stay here for the night. Um, we'll just leave the, the car out there for the time being. I don't, I don't have any reason to bring it all the way in here. Um, especially with how big that thing is. Okay, so as far as sleeping is concerned, we've got a good bedroom here. Although it's close to the stairs, which is not ideal. Bathroom. This was another bedroom, right? This might be where we stay. Yeah. Thinking this is gonna be the better room for the time being. Either that or we can stay in the bunk bed! Yay! Yippee! Maybe we'll stay in the kids' room. We'll see. That's interesting. Why is there a window here? I can't see anything out of it. It goes into the, the side of the house. Either way, um yeah, so this is our little terrace that we're gonna use for uh, water collecting. And for looking, look, there's a guy hanging out at the pool. 
Yeah, see, this is already broken into as well. This is the thing I was concerned about. If this was like a like a fully enclosed area and this shed didn't connect to this road here, I would probably consider using that house instead. But it does the same thing that this thing does, so and it's also already broken through. Okay, so um, first thing to do is we're just gonna for tonight um, get Wes something to eat and. Get him off to bed, I think. Um, eat some... You know what? Fried rice is good. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I just want to get Wes some sleep. And then tomorrow we'll... Uh, we'll start looking about reinforcing stuff. I've got to get that window covered over here. Um, if anything, any window that points out... Let me get the front door open first. Okay. Any door that... Or any window that points towards the front that actually... Okay, you can't see through these. That's something. Any of these windows that point towards the, the open area, like in the front of the house or out here, um, need to be shaded. So that's what I'm going to do. Just uh, seeing what we've got here. So this one is. So let's, give her, let's close that. Not going to do it for the ones that point into the yard. Um... Because it, well, there's a there's a concern with these because of this. I could close these temporarily to stop zombies from coming here and trying to break in. But in the long term, I'm kind of lazy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cover this one yet because it's broken. Does that make sense? No, that kind of doesn't make sense. I should cover all three of these. And I'm going to keep this internal door closed because this room is compromised. What was over here again? Is like another bedroom or something? Oh yeah, it's kind of like a master bedroom with a bunch of windows. Very dangerous because of that other thing over there. Oh, little closet. Oh. Oh. The master bath. I see. Once this place is secure, this might actually be, uh, I might actually use the master bedroom. Because, uh, this, this is nice. Holy. I, you know, until the backyard is secure, though, there's no reason to use that. It's just too dangerous, but, uh, very cool. Alright. So, I think that's going to be it for this day. I'm going to get, uh, less to, well, let me get some water out of the bath. The yummy bath water. Um, I'm gonna get Wes to do some reading, and then I think we'll uh, we'll call it a night. So this is gonna be our new base for the time being. I don't know if it's gonna be permanent. I'm kind of liking it though. It's uh, it's a really nice location with a good defensible area, and it's also like pretty close to the city center. So I can because uh, like really what I want to do is I want to start exploring on foot. Which, yes, more dangerous, but also less FPS lag, and I can actually check what the buildings are, whereas I can't with the vehicle because most of them aren't signposted. So from here, I can easily, like, range out into the center of the town and, like, or the city and, like, see what these buildings are and see if I can find a gun store and some other stuff that I need. So that's going to be the, um, what I'm going to start working on soonish. I think tomorrow I'm going to wor start working on setting this place up rather than exploring. Um, I really want to get this place secure as quickly as possible, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, without further ado, I'll uh, see you all in the morning. Alright, good morning everyone. We're back with Wes here at 5.30am. Um, gonna get him a bite to eat and smoke real quick. We had the helicopter event happen while I was reading last night. Um, so what I decided to do is pretty quickly um, stop reading and then just... Uh, go to sleep, since zombies don't tend to do much when you're sleeping, um, I thought that was the best course of action, in case we get some that filter through here. I'd rather them not actually, like, break in here and try and come up after me, so... And plus, Wes was too tired to try and worry about anything like that, so... Um, I don't know why I'm throwing these on the ground, I need to deal with them. Alright, so let's see. Hopefully we're still secure. Take a look out back. Let's 
see anything. Can't walk past these couches. I'll probably end up getting rid of one of those so that I can. I think we're alright. Doesn't seem like we got any uh, unwelcome guests. Okay, so. I want to get started, but I'm gonna... I'm not gonna start deconstructing everything... Oh, hello. Um, I'm not gonna start by deconstructing everything in the house that we're staying in. I want it to at least look kind of presentable. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of... Uh, living in a place with no furniture, so what we're gonna do is, uh, well, clear out these zombies that have wandered over, and we're going to go next door and deconstruct that house instead. I believe we have the hand trucks with us, right? I put them in here. Uh, trolley. Yes. I... Didn't actually want to put that in my inventory, but, uh, that's fine. Okay. So we've got one of the trolleys out. I'll, uh, I'm gonna leave that there for now, and I'll take it over once I've actually got this place, like, deconstructed. Just kill this zombie real quick. I also need to make sure I have, what, a screwdriver, a hammer, and a saw? More leather gloves. Bandolier as well as neat. Gloves too. Okay. Still got some more zombies over there. These these houses are so big that we should be able to get like a pretty significant amount of XP from them. I already read the book, right? Carpentry? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Okay, so um I need to have a screwdriver. I know I Oh, I don't have a hammer in my belt. Okay. Um, well, let's see what we got on hand. Do I have everything I need here? I've got enough to do the metal on the windows for later. Okay, so we've got a screwdriver. No hammer and no saw. I know there's a saw inside. Hopefully there's a hammer, too. If not, we're going to have to do some searching or go get the trailer already, which is a bit unfortunate. I wasn't Expecting to have to go for that already, but I didn't think about the tools. Uh, I mean, the the garage also might have some stuff in it, so... Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Also, I gotta get Wes something to eat. Uh, wrenches, hand file... Wasn't there a saw in here? I swear I saw a saw. Okay, yeah, garden saw. Okay, we just need a hammer. Um, okay, so we actually do have quite a bit of uh, canned stuff. That's good. Let's have a pineapple. Should be good enough. I should be nice and full after that. Well, full-ish. Good enough for me. Okay, let's see about getting a hammer. the hell? What the hell are you banging on my on my garage doors for, dickhead? Get out of here. Must have been from the helicopter event. Got pulled over there. Just uh No you know what? He can he can stay. He ain't coming after me, then I don't care. Alright, um... What do we got? Anything interesting in here? Hand file. We got some carrot seeds and a shovel. That's nice. Although I think we already have a shovel, but... Performance type tire, heavy duty. Too unwieldy to drive nails. Okay. I guess technically I don't... I don't remember if I actually need the hammer for deconstructing. I know I need it for actually making stuff, but... I think it's... No, I think you do need the hammer, because the animation uses the hammer. Should you punch a ball-peen hammer? Okay, ball-peen hammer works. Um, 
it's pretty damaged, but I don't think that we're going to be using durability with just using it for deconstructing shit for now. What else we got? Oh. Oh, there we go. Screw you, ball peen hammer. We've got better options. Oh. Uh. Oopsie. I did not want to put that on, uh, belt left. I wanted to put it on belt right. Ah, it's because of holster right being here. Okay, there we go. Cool. This place is turning out to be a gold mine of tools. Alright, let's get started. I'm not going to deconstruct these either because, uh, you know, I can't make crates like that anytime soon. So, no reason to deconstruct something that I can't replace, especially when it's uh, storage space. Although, I've got a lot of storage here. I Like I said at the beginning of the series, I'm going to try not to let the, um, the clutter get out of hand, like where I was dumping crap on the floor a lot in the last series. I'm going to make a concerted effort to, like, use storage correctly and not just be a pack rat this time. So... All right, let's clear out these guys because they're a little too close for comfort. Okay. And let's get started. We've got plenty of housing around here to just take apart, so... That's going to be our goal. Got somebody banging on something in here. Front door, maybe? Multiple doors getting banged on. That's weird. It's like a door that just goes straight to the staircase. Very odd. Yeah, this place is going to be a doozy. Prepare for jump scare noises on the inside, I think. Um, I want to make sure my, my back here is secure. I don't want to mess around too much. Say, about there being zombies in here. Some inside. Acoustics from being inside that little shed is weird. It's throwing me off. That's why I kept looking behind me. Okay, I don't hear anything else, so I'm going to assume that's fine, and let's make a move on the actual building now. staircase anytime soon. Okay, so the one I heard over here was that one that I just killed. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Alright, nothing here is being banged on. It's just a door upstairs. So let's close this door. So I don't have zombies come in behind me. Let's see about going up here. Cases. Okay, hold on. Let's turn the lights on. It's one of these doors, right? Yeah, it's this one. Oh boy. Certainly an interesting person lived here. <sighs> That's a bathroom. What, is it connecting to both rooms? Oh, it does. Neat. being safe, I'm gonna explore every room and open every door before, um, before I get stuck in, uh, deconstructing stuff. 
I don't want to get uh, run up on while I'm deconstructing crap because I usually don't pay that close attention when I'm just deconstructing things. Um, it's a flaw, but deconstructing crap is very boring, so I usually just speed through it, which is quite dangerous if, uh, if I get run up on by a zombie. I could easily die. I don't want that. I like Wes. He's a cool dude. Okay, I believe that is everything for this place. We've seen every room, and everything seems secure. So, I'm going to get to work deconstructing everything in this house. Uh, disassemble. Yep. Was I correct on what I needed? I guess I didn't need the screwdriver, but I need a saw and a hammer, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get to work on this, and uh, I'll see you all when I'm done. Alright. Welcome back, everyone. That was a uh, very exciting few hours of uh, deconstructing. I have to uh, have West stop now, because even though there's a lot more to go, uh, we've hit level 2 carpentry, which means I need to read the next book. Luckily enough, in the bookshelf in this room, I found a carpentry volume too, which we already had, but it's back in the trailer at, uh, you know, all the way over here. So I would have had to have gone back and grabbed that before uh, continuing if I hadn't found that book right there. So very lucky. We also got a little bit lucky and we got some, um, some planks from a few of these. And I know that the chances are like 20-ish percent, like between like 17 and 20 percent when I'm this low skill level, to actually get usable materials back. So, actually, I'm kind of unlucky that I only got, like, three or four. Oh, god, another helicopter. Oh. Helicopter blowing up a bit. Neat. Um. Anyway, like I was saying, um, so technically I probably got kind of unlucky because I only got, like, four, three or four planks out of all that. But, uh, usually I get zero because I'm super unlucky at this, uh, this sort of a deal, so... I'm not going to complain. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll uh, grab a snack from here. I'm kind of worried about the helicopter explosion event being, like, drawing zombies. Uh, let's eat a nice head of lettuce. Yummy salad. Yeah, good enough for now. There's also tons of crap on the floor because of... Uh, the deconstruction. Oh, there's a plank here, too. So, that's good. One thing I haven't really considered is I don't think I have that much nails. I have to keep an eye out. I mean, I'll get some back when I succeed on deconstructing stuff, so there's that, I guess. So that helicopter crash is across the river, it seems like, so that's not really, uh... It's pretty close, though. I mean, I guess it is scripted to kind of, like, be close, but, uh, it's like across that road. Yeah, it's like over here somewhere. Alright. I'll consider looking at that at some point. See if there's anything I can salvage from it. In the meantime, though, it's uh, probably going to be time for me to have West turn in, almost, because it's already 5.50. We're not exhausted, but I can't do much other than read, so... I think one thing we're going to do is, um, take a look. Well, let me look at the carpentry menu again. Um, okay, so I could make wall frames already. But I don't really have the nails and planks for that as of yet. I need a lot more. There's no trees around here, which is an issue. So I have to get everything I can get, I can from deconstructing. I, I could look over here, though. Those green patches might be trees. Let's take a look around. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt to patrol and, uh, clear out the neighborhood. Seeing as, uh, dudes are just gonna wander over here every chance they get at this point. Especially with all these helicopter events buzzing around. Yeah, these, these are trees over here. Okay, so I can actually get some uh, some planks from over here as well, if we clear this out. So I think I will do that. At least do a little temp clear. It's fine. I've got two machetes in my 
in my uh, my double bag. Right? Yeah, this connecting across to like a major roadway here is kind of concerning. Some more hinges and stuff over there. That's good. Thought I heard something over here. Oh, there's a zombie right there. I'm very concerned about this uh, pass through thing here. We haven't had anybody come through there as of yet, other than the first two, three, three zombies that broke it in, broke those doors down. But you know, it's concerning nonetheless. Okay, so yeah, we've got a decent amount of trees here that I can, uh, I can chop down and use. Yeah, there's quite a few over here. That's good. That'll help supplement the uh, whatever we get back from deconstructing. And of course, the more that we, uh, the more that we deconstruct. The uh, and the higher our skill gets, the the more likely we are to recover stuff. And there's so much wood around here that it should be. Oh wow, this is just straight up open. Was this? Hello, where did you come from? Actually, though, where the hell did you come from? Um, I guess this was like a small garage or something, and they just broke the garage part down. Is this propane tank full? It is. Cool. Yeah, there's some more stuff, um... For windows and stuff. Okay. Fair. Spare engine parts, run flat tire. Fix flat is awesome to get. And a battery. Some more glue and stuff. Cool. And then we can tear this stuff down to more carpentry XP. Okay, um... Well, I'm not about to have us start chopping now, especially since he's already tired. Let's, uh... Get back to the house and see about turning in for the night after I see what the zombie does. I thought he was coming for me there, but it seems like he did not see me. He just happened to come out that window. Hmm. Yeah, you're, I know, you're anxious because you haven't had a cigarette. I will get you one. Just chill, bro. Um... Can you walk through these? No. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna do something real quick. Pick up this plastic table. Does this work? No, because it, like, picks it up into pieces. Uh, grab. This is gonna hurt, but I want to get this thing set up. I'm just gonna shove this in front of here. Um, zombies should have to break it to get in, and uh, that'll at least give me a slight prior notice. If, uh, if something is broken into this uh, backyard area. I mean, of course this area isn't secure, because zombies could just, like, wander around through here, but even still, I'm more I'm more worried about this pass-through than I am about zombies doing that, just, like, wandering in a circle. Okay, so back at home, let's grab a quick bite to eat, let Wes smoke a cigarette, and then we will do some reading, I think, because there's not a whole lot else that needs to be done right now. I'm gonna eat some strawberry jello. A little treat after a long day of uh, tearing apart wooden appliances or uh, wooden furniture and stuff. Not much, uh, and not very filling, but that's fine. We're still trying to lose weight after all anyway. Uh, how are we doing on that? We are at 88, almost there. Once we hit 85, we'll lose the overweight stuff, so that's good. All right. Well, I think looking at the timer, this episode might end up being a little bit short, but I don't really have enough time to do another full day, even though it's probably just going to be more tearing apart uh, furniture and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'm going to end this here, but we got some we got some decent stuff done in this episode. 
We've secured a base, whether permanent or temporary. I'm still undecided, but I'm leaning towards permanent because this is a pretty good base location, and I really like this place. So, we're uh, we're pretty well set up. We've still got to go back and get the trailer at some point because it does have, like, all of our books, a lot of weapons and tools and all kinds of other crap. So, we do need to go get that, um, but that'll probably happen... Yeah, maybe next episode, maybe the one after that. We'll see. Uh, it's not too urgent, but I will need it eventually. And then... Once we've got uh, our basic uh, wall set up to block off these little areas here, we will um, we will get started on searching through Darker Dam. We're going to be going building to building and probably spending quite a few nights out on the town, uh, trying to figure out like what there is in this place, what these what these stores are that are unmarked. See if there's anything useful. See if we can find a gun store. We gotta get uh, get moving because I also we need to secure a gas station too, um, because yeah I mean we're we're getting we're getting along in time here. We've survived for eleven days already. We're getting close to the halfway point of the uh, the ramp up in zombies. Remember that uh, by the thirtieth we'll hit the uh, the maximum population modifier. I think it's like one point two five or one point five. I think I might have said it to this time times zombies so we're gonna be getting to a lot of zombies in darker dam pretty soon so we're gonna have to get some work done either way thank you all for watching i appreciate it i uh, definitely appreciate it if you uh like comment subscribe stuff like that i think it helps the video out everyone on youtube says it helps the video out and uh i have no idea how the analytics work i look at that shit and it makes no sense to me but you know what i'm just gonna say the youtuber thing and you know ask for the likes comments and sub subscriptions because they help either way thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care